Hello Linux fans, Rob here. Uh, today I have a uh, quick review of LXLE Eclectica. This is a Lubuntu Respin um, version 16.04.01 and this is a long term um, support based distribution uh, not a rolling release. I, I will throw out that um, Upon first install, I decided to just launch right into install on the test system here, and um, got about 97% of the way through and had a failure, uh, but was presented with a menu to launch into the live environment and continue the install, and uh, that install process went fine, and so uh, we we launched into the uh, to the built-in configuration that you see. Uh, right after install. Before we jump into this though I do want to throw out um, a, a, just a word of thanks to the comments I've received in the YouTube channel. I've had some really positive comments and I I do this for uh, fun uh, you know I, I really enjoy Linux I enjoy the Linux community um, and so you know I, I wasn't sure how many videos I would uh, you know post on my channel and, and so it's encouraging and um, as long as I'm having fun with this uh, you know I'll, I'll continue to do this and uh, just wanted to say thank you I appreciate the kind comments some of you uh, folks are Linux veterans that you've know, been in the Linux world for 15-20 uh, years and, and just some nice comments from you so thank you uh, with that all said we'll jump in here out of the gate you're going to see some uh, things that are a little different about this distribution um, you know the way it's configured out of the gate you're going to see um, an interesting mix of software and we'll get into that in just a minute um, the only thing that I have tweaked here is I increased the taskbar size uh, the trans transparency was standard here and uh, everything else is status quo uh, that this is what you'll see right after install um, so out of the gate you've got your clock here kind of centered with a weather widget that's an interesting widget kind of a nice look gives you a three-day forecast um, and then to the right of the weather widget you have the date that shows in the panel and if you click on that you'll have a drop-down calendar um, menu bar to the left and again the panel here at the top is default uh, so we'll give that a, a click and you'll see a really a straightforward um, menu driven list easy to understand and access uh, you've got shut down at the bottom here run um, search and updates right there um, quick access to that and then control menu I think a new user someone maybe this is their first distribution and uh, I think they would be familiar with control menu that would make sense um, but anyway we'll start at the top here with the list of software under accessories we won't spend a lot of time I'll just point out a few things other than your standard calculator uh, you've got a screenshot tool there built in uh, XPad for notes archiver um, and file manager is listed and a help um, menu there or help option <laughs> choice excuse me it's it's late and I'm not as sharp as I uh, wanted to be for this. Um, under education I found this interesting marble was pre-installed so uh, you, you rarely see that pre-installed. Uh, kind of an interesting mix of games here too. Uh, some of these are simple you know breakout style bejeweled clones etc. So uh, you know again I think a new user who sees this list may have some fun with that. Under graphics uh, you've got photo print that's a new one on me shot well we see that quite a bit simple scan you see uh, simple image reducer that's a new one to me as well and uh, it's nice to see that here I may never have discovered this software but uh, apparently it allows you to quickly uh, modify an image and, and it doesn't look like a piece of software that is designed to do a multitude of things it's a simple image reducer so that may be something to check out later. Uh, again, found that interesting. Uh, Mirage for uh, image viewing. And then under Internet, this was a surprise. Uh, no Firefox. 
You do see, however, you see a Mozilla build of Sea Monkey. Found that to be interesting. Good evening. And so I want to point out too here the um, background that you're seeing. That is uh, what you're going to see in if these windows were not here. It looks kind of like a circuit board. Kind of reminds me of a Tron theme. That was. Uh, that was what you're presented with as you're booting into the uh, OS. You know, uh, uh, theme-wise, I mean, this doesn't stand out to me. I have seen much prettier themes as default, but uh, you know, to each his own. I mean, it's it's a matter of taste, but this just doesn't stand out to me as particularly attractive. Um, so we'll move on here under internet. You have Fire FTP, uh, and then we have Lin Phone, and it says it's a web phone. I'm not familiar with that, um, but I, again, I found that interesting. Not something you typically see installed. Uh, sync thing, transmission, and you get um, Office. You have LibreOffice and uh, address book, calendar, composer, dictionary, and an ebook reader. And then you have Home Bank. I also found that interesting, which is a uh, personal accounting. That's I've never seen that pre-installed. Then under Sound and Video, it was a, a nice uh, surprise to have Simple Screen Recorder uh, already loaded, so I didn't have to take the time to install that for this review. Um, you have OpenShot Video Editor uh, pre-installed as well. So, uh, you know, pretty good mix, an interesting mix. We're going to go back over here to control menu. So I think this is pretty intuitive here to have control menu in the initial drop down. Uh, so if you go to preferences, you're going to have a fairly long list here. You can choose, we're going to start at the bottom and go up, do it a little different. You have preferred applications. Um, you know, most people are going to understand that. Power management. Uh, you could go in and, and tweak your main menu. Monitor settings, network. I know I'm bouncing around here. Uh, keyboard and, and pointer or keyboard and mouse uh, firewall configuration your desktop preferences you can access that by right click on the desktop as well uh, customized look and feel brightness controller Bluetooth manager and under system tools all right for those of you who like things in order I'll start at the top and work my way down uh, alternatives configurator this was new to me and we'll go ahead and check this out so this is G alternatives and I'm just just first look here um, so we could go in and choose the background this looks like you would have the ability to really go in and, and deep tweak this desktop and again first glance here I'm just gonna say this looks like something um, you're not going to want to mess with and potentially really screw up if you don't know what you're doing kind of thing so uh, interesting never used it um, this may be a very powerful tool though if a person were to spend time and, and get in and really uh, mess with the settings here but uh, worth mention all right let's go back in we'll go under system tool up oh, up oh back to preferences as I as I said we'll start at the top and work our way down um, no we've done that one it's too late for me folks sorry about that uh, <clears throat> alternatives configurator bleach bit and then bleach bit is root um, driver manager package installer uh, Lubuntu software center so go ahead and launch that I yeah this is kind of I don't know. You know, after seeing uh, Matei's software boutique, you look at uh, Ubuntu's uh, software manager. It's very attractive, nicely done. This is kind of, uh, you know, sorry to say it, it's just kind of bland. Um, you know, you, you, you launch right into categories. Um, you know, and I'm sure that the search and everything works fine. It's just that this is kind of bland compared to the trend we've seen with uh, software managers. So let's just do a search here real quick for Chrome and see what we get. No Chrome. 
but of course you'll find chromium there. So um, I am sure there's a, a, a decent source of software in here, but if you can't find what you're looking for there, um, you can go into Synaptic and find a good selection. More than likely you're going to find what you need there. All right, so I'm going to go back to the top. Uh, we'll scroll through Software Center network, network. Can't talk this evening. Network Manager, Printers, Synaptic. We just talked about Task Manager, Terminal, Time and Date, USB Image Writer, and Stick Formatter. Nice to have built in. And then PPA Manager. So we'll launch into that. So simply add a PPA. So okay straightforward manage them so you know just first glance again interesting mix of software pretty straightforward layout um, some things I think I don't know maybe overkill and just kind of first glance this may be overwhelming for a first-time user universal access now this I thought nicely done here uh, pre-installed is easy stroke gesture recognition and I am not familiar with that uh, Florence virtual keyboard I have used uh, numerous times and um, you know I, this is a test machine here is a hybrid 11 inch uh, Dell tablet slash PC and I have messed around with several distributions trying to configure uh, the best distribution that I can find for a touch interface and some are better than others uh, KDE actually surprised me at how configurable it is for a, a touch interface um, and so it's interesting to see software such as Easy Stroke uh, that may enhance that touch experience I just have not found a setting yet or a setup yet that gives you uh, an interface anywhere near as good as say a, a high-end Android tablet so um, and then in the taskbar I thought it was interesting that they they had the file manager in place already um, your random wallpaper so single click and you can shuffle through various wallpapers I thought that was a, a fairly nice addition um, and again a, a beautiful selection I believe they have 100 high-end wallpapers pre-installed and while you know if you're like me you you have various wallpapers you've saved that you really enjoy and and maybe you rotate and use but still it's, it's nice to discover um, attractive high-end wallpapers so uh, nice addition there uh, terminal so quickly launch the terminal UX term so that's kind of basic kind of plain you know overall theme wise I'm just not real I mean other than the wallpapers which are very attractive I'm just not I don't it's kind of a bland theme to me um, you know I've, I've seen alright so quick launch I've seen I've seen a trend towards, you know, uh, nice polished look on as the default setting. So, you know, I'm seeing where devs have gone in and really taken the time to work on the color scheme and the the icons and and just to make sure that everything, um, you know, has a really nice, slick, polished, attractive appearance. And while this is okay, I mean, to each his own. There may be viewers out there looking at this saying what are you talking about I love it uh, and that's fine and, and to each his own but to me this is just kinda I don't know kinda of vanilla uh, so quick launch here if we wanted to launch and type for to find an, an app so calendar there so that's nice you know the overall speed seems uh, seems fast um, launch time was fast it was certainly under a minute I didn't time it um, it didn't stand out to be the fastest uh, launch into the into a uh, OS that I have seen, but it was certainly uh, fast. Um, 
Some other things I'll just point out about this is I believe this is using the BTRFS file system. Um, I haven't tried it. I haven't connected to an external monitor, but I believe they have uh, monitor detection built in. So if you have dual monitors, uh, you could easily set that up. Um, and I believe also there are some uh, Linux Mint and Mate desktop apps uh, built in. So, ah, I forgot about updates. We'll look at that. So, you care. You care core system will start in five seconds. All right, so looks fast. We'll see here. This was a fresh install, and I believe this particular version 160401 was um, released I want to say a week or so ago alright so we're not going to go through this uh, for the sake of time but it looked like it launched right into software update um, quickly and and is doing what it needs to do <clears throat> All right, so I'm sure I've missed over or jumped over some things here and um, missed some things that I'm sure um, that I'm sure somebody is watching this saying, "Hey, why didn't you talk about this?" So if that's the case, I'll keep this uh, loaded on this system for a few days. So if there's something you want to see or something I missed, I apologize. I'm just extremely tired this evening. I've been on the road and. Uh, not sleeping well so if there's something uh, that you would like to see just message me and I'll keep this installed for a few days and uh, we'll you know pull up uh, another video if need be and and point out other things all right we'll wrap it up take care